mess. Like, it was a disaster. You lost your mind. And I don't think that's fair. I mean, it's gonna seem like I'm making excuses, but I'm not. It is way later now. It is Thursday. I didn't even realize it was Thursday. I thought it was Wednesday. But when I tell you days are going by so much faster, I feel like than they used to be. I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like it is getting a little bit out of control. Usually January for me takes forever, but this time around, it, it was too fast. Too fast. I feel like I, I didn't even do like the things that i wanted to do for january i am actually a little bit disappointed in that okay i'm making lunch now i need to eat more greens for some reason i have not been in the mood to eat a savory lunch i've really been in the mood to eat sweet lunch so of course whenever i'm in the mood to make sweet lunch guess what i make porridge and today i don't have bananas so, like usually the best thing that i like on my porridge for my fruit i love raspberries now raspberries are so freaking good i didn't realize how good they were until the other day blackberries i don't like blackberries what i did was because bananas i did manage to finish all my bananas this time around i did not throw any out thank goodness but because the bananas go bad so quickly what i decided to do i love having a fruit though so I decided to get um, Fiji, no, Gala apples. Gala apples are like my favorites. So I got some apples. I put a little bit of this. I mean, I don't necessarily need this to be quite honest. Grain granola. It's because I haven't had the chance to make my own granola. I love making granola. Well, I don't know if I love making it, but I make a really, really good granola. The thing is, most of the time, I don't like to buy certain stuff out because I because i make it so good it just doesn't even make any sense for me to even buy certain things out i'm gonna put a little bit of old brand old brand is amazing for keeping you full also high fiber i need a lot of fiber get all this spout one of the things that i'm trying to get rid of this year is my fupa my fupa needs to be gone this year it will be gone this year so i've been really 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 on top of my workout so i'm working out five days a week monday to friday and the weekend is like my day off to recover so that's what i am doing oh shoot i forgot the cinnamon i i love the spices the spice house they have really really amazing spices so that's the cinnamon that i use i love the sticks to make tea i make tea with the sticks but I love using this. I also do a little bit of salt in there as well. But I do need to go to Trader Joe's soon because I need cashews. It's very painful for me buying cashews at Whole Foods because it's so ridiculously expensive. And it's probably gonna last me until the end of this week. Almonds, I need to remember to get that from TJ's as well. That's basically it, what I put in there. I don't put any sugar. Typically, I used to put a little bit of maple syrup but I don't even do that anymore. I don't need the extra sweetness. I may have put too much cinnamon. Got my apples, I am ready. Let me get a cute little bowl. I'm gonna use this bowl. I'm gonna get a backup bowl so I can put uh, the rest for tomorrow. Tonight I'm actually headed to an event. Um, I'm headed to, I need to go get a wax soon, but I'm gonna make it last a little bit longer. Tonight I'm invited to a dinner event, which I cannot wait cannot wait for the dinner event it's at 7 p.m i told you guys this year i'm gonna take it easy i'm not gonna be going to as many events as i used to be. i'm gonna wait for the porridge to be done and then i'm gonna eat cleaning this weekend is going to be a cleaning weekend for me and i cannot go on like this so i will come back when it's time for me to actually get dressed because i have no idea what i'm wearing it's for like a cashmere brand i was thinking maybe i could wear my kate cashmere top but again, I kind of like over wear that top. But then again, it's like, it's Kate. So, but because it's a cashmere brand, I'm not too pressed about what I'm going to wear because it's one of those brands where I feel like I can wear something a little bit more casual or I don't necessarily need to think about, you know, getting dressed up or anything like that. It's time to get ready now. I was thinking of putting some curls on my hair, but then again, this hair doesn't necessarily hold curls at all. I was wondering, should I even bother? 
probably not. It's time to get ready now to go to the dinner. Honestly, I'm just so sleepy. I just wanna like get into bed and just go to sleep. First, I have to check the weather to see. Just let me see how long it's gonna take. I think it's gonna take about 30 minutes to get there. There shouldn't be any traffic going downtown because the traffic should be going back up. This is here because I was, as soon as I try something on, is to record me doing the try on. So that way later, when I film a haul, I don't have to think about the try on part because filming a haul and doing a try on at the same time can be a little bit much. I want to do more styling videos because one thing that I realized with kind of like YouTube, you guys get to see all the things that are being purchased, but you don't necessarily get to see how they style and I don't think that's fair. Um, I think it's our duty to actually show you how to style those pieces. I mean, even though you can see it more on Instagram because it's easier to do on Instagram, it's so much easier to just post a picture or a reel as compared to do a whole YouTube video, it, it's a lot. Oof, I look so cute. I look, I look good, I must say. You know, all this is gonna be good. <laughs> We're working on it. I'm so excited, honestly. I'm so excited to get this out of the way. But let's get back into subject. What am I wearing? I don't even know what I'm wearing. First, I have to check the weather to see what I'm wearing. Why? Like, what is happening? Oh, I know exactly the outfit I'm going to do. I'm going to wear my new blazer with the denim. That's going to be my look. Super simple. And then for shoes, I may do the Jimmy Choo. And then the Luna bag. It's just been on the market for a really, really cute top. And then I couldn't pinpoint what I wanted. The thing about me, a lot of time in shopping, I don't 50% of the time I don't have any idea like the internet kind of like tells me what I need I know I want something but I don't know it yet it's the best way to phrase it like I know I'm looking for like a fun top to pair with denim but then again I'm not even sure what kind of fun top that would be and last night I was looking for a pink dress to go to an event for next week I was in Neta Forte and I don't even know how this one came into the search as soon as I saw this, this is actually the top that I've been looking for to wear with denim sometimes. Top over a black blazer and then I'm on my way. And I was just like, whoa, this is actually the perfect thing that I've been looking for. And the price was ridiculous. Originally, this was like 800 bucks. This was under 250. I checked out so fast and then I did next the delivery. Now, the thing about me, the minute I do something, I can't go back. I used to shop Neta Forte fine, you know, a couple of days you get your order. But since that day that I did the next day delivery, now I cannot go back to ordering regularly. Now every time I have to pay this $25 because the convenience of me getting my item the same day or the next day, how am I supposed to go back? How would I have to wait one extra day? They said the model is wearing a size 2, so thank goodness I ended up with a size 4. I was thinking the size 4 would have been way too big. I was wrong. It wasn't big at all. This 4 was actually perfect. It's even a little bit tight. I don't know if it's because I've been working out a lot, probably gaining a little bit of muscle or something. It is a little bit tight, but then again, I have boobs. It does have a little bit of padding, which I want to remove. This is this, like, ugh, this is so fun. That's that, and then you guys know I have the pink blazer from In Other Stories. It does come with a suit. I picked out this pink pants to match with the blazer, and now I have the full suit. You guys know Viva Magenta is the color of the year. It's absolutely necessary that you get something in Viva Magenta or hot pink. I also picked out this dress, which is super girly. Sometimes you do need one of those girly dresses because you never know. I'm gonna go get ready now. Okay, guys, I'm filming a TikTok, -talk, so, so that's why I have all these lights on. But before I head out, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. When I tell you guys, I am so elated that i can wear stuff like that now i don't have to kind of like try too hard my old body requires me to put a little bit more way too much effort and then is required for someone to get ready to go to an event like look at something like this that i'm wearing it just looks so chic and i'm not even wearing anything crazy i'm just wearing some zod jeans of course a very beautiful tailored blazer this blazer actually i got it for under 300 which usually it's like around 400 or 500 i'm gonna link the website that i got it from again i don't get uh, a commission from them and this website 
is making me discover so many amazing European brands that we don't even hear about. So I'm here for it. I did curl my hair a little bit. Um, this is the final look. I'm just gonna get a coat now and I'm gonna call my Uber. 27, yeah, we gotta go. Let's go. to my train it's a couple blocks away and there's a really nice view of the Empire State Building that's right there so I always love seeing it but it was such a great event it was so nice I had a lovely time at the dinner it was such a good one when actually people just like stay kind of like all the way after oh here's a wonderful view let me show you guys let me show you this view right here always takes my breath away because it's so pretty you know I'm gonna take an Instagram, even though I even though I photograph this view every time. But that's the thing with NYC, like it never gets old. Like never ever. Ever ever? As I was saying, it was pretty cool. This it was so fun. I had such a great time. Headed home now. As I was saying, I tried to call an Uber and it was like fifty dollars. And I'm just like <laughs> at 10 o'clock PM on a Thursday night, you think I'm gonna pay fifty dollars for an Uber? You lost your mind. Especially when I'm like in the middle of Manhattan. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, babes. So, I'm just gonna walk to my train. What avenue is this? Fifth Avenue. Good evening, guys. It is 2049, which is 849. And here I am making the engagement chicken. It's actually one of my favorite things to make. It's so freaking delicious. So that way I can have this for the entire week. Today's Friday, by the way. I've lost the nail, so disregard. So I'm hoping, you know, I will eat maybe a leg tonight. And then I will have the rest of the chicken, um, I guess, up until Wednesday. So if I have it up until Wednesday, that's really good for me. Because I can find some other stuff in the house to kind of like make I can just make some white rice and I'm good to go We are continuing no ordering food out for the month of February as well So I'm super excited. So this is gonna go in the oven now um, If you guys want a recipe like I said, I just go on TikTok and just follow any recipe uh, Me myself, I don't ever follow recipes. I always have to change them Hence the reason why I cannot bake because I hate following recipes. I am not one to follow It's the Caribbean in me yeah, which is why I prefer cooking because cooking is art. I can do whatever the hell I want. Ooh, I was about to forget a crucial step. The crucial step is to actually put butter inside. So let's go ahead and get some butter to put inside the chicken. My house is a mess, so disregard. So I'm gonna put some. I don't have lemon, so I just put lime. And now it is finito. Well, not yet. This is gonna go in. Woo woo! So excited. Oh, 
Chicken is done and it is quite delicious. I put it back. I actually flipped it this time around. Usually you don't need to, but I kind of like when both sides is kind of like crunchy. Mmm. I think the lime was probably a little bit much. This is one of the time where I actually prefer lemon because lemon doesn't ever make it bitter. Oh my god need to do this part but i flipped the chicken over because i hate when the bottom is like completely white and then the top is like crispy black i prefer when both is black flipped it and have it cook a little bit more yeah it is so delicious when i tell you it's like falling off the bone it's literally falling off the bone for my engagement chicken i'm gonna go downstairs actually because something was delivered i'm pretty sure it's the post office that delivered it in my mailbox so i'm gonna go downstairs to pick it up is the chokers i just want to make sure just in case it was left on the outside because you never know good afternoon guys happy sunday i've just been cozy if you are watching this video right now i just made live what i bought in paris video this video should have been titled what i should have bought in paris because Honestly, I should have gotten both of the bags that I showed you one of the reasons why I didn't get the YSL bag I've been wanting that YSL bag for months And then I thought you know what when I go to Paris, I'm gonna look for it But again, like I told you I didn't have time to go shop It was only on the last day It was just a couple of days before everything closes that I went shopping because remember I did take a few days to go to the countryside and when I was in Paris It was kind of like, you know busy kinda like fashion week like appointments and things like that so i didn't get a chance to do that because by the time i was done i did wake up plus i wasn't the other thing as well is that i wasn't feeling well for the first couple of days which kind of like messed me up completely for those other two days that i had i had woken up super late and then by the time i got out and i was frustrated with the traffic well i didn't necessarily i never really had like a day where i went shopping and also the mistake that i made was not bringing warm clothes enough because you know like fall in new york fall in new york it's wonderful we have the best weather but i keep forgetting paris it's a lot colder in the fall time than it is here i did not pack properly which is why you know you should definitely research the weather of where you're going you know before packing and the mistake that i also made was i did not try on my outfits before i packed that's the other thing i highly highly recommend you try on your outfits before you go anywhere especially if you care for the way you look especially for someone like me you know who's in fashion i should care the way my outfits look because now i'm looking at my outfits i was not happy with pretty much any of the outfits that i wore at all anything that i packed didn't work together and that's because i didn't try on anything i just packed a bunch of things and just like hoping for the best and that's never 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 a good thing to do always try on your outfit before your trip it's going to make your life so easy because one of the outfits that i wore was that kate trench coat with the brown pant those two colors for some reason just did not go the trench coat was like a buttery color with the brown it was just weird it was just like such a weird combination it just did not go at all i just wish i would have done like an all black look underneath that trench coat it would have looked way better like i don't know don't pair brown with something that looks buttery it just 
I don't know, it just did not look good at all. And also, I mean, it's gonna seem like I'm making excuses, but I'm not necessarily making excuses. I just wanna give you guys, I just wanna explain certain things to you guys because one thing that I realize sometimes, based on how someone, you know, come up with some content, you can judge them and, and see like, oh, why did you make that decision? Because I know I have judged people in the past and be like, you know, what possessed you to do this and that and that, not knowing that you never know what happened before again it's not that serious and there are bigger things happening in the world you know, this is first world issue it's not that serious but but a video recently taught me a lesson and i was just thinking about it the other day like you know never judge the other reason why my outfit didn't really bang is because it was just around that same time remember guys i went to paris end of september right for fashion week I had my surgery done on July like 8th. It was only about two months. So my boobs weren't like at a point yet where I couldn't necessarily even wear the things that I wanted to wear yet. I was still in the process healing because it was still within the three months. So I was still healing and then I was still shopping for my new body. Now I am in a such better head mentally as far as knowing what I want to try, what I want to wear. Just in the process where I was just starting to shop for my new body and also for fall, I didn't necessarily have the pieces. Like, it's just my outfits were not well thought of. It was a mess, like it was a disaster. Plan, 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 is make sure you plan ahead of time. But then again, it wasn't a big deal. For me, everything is like a learning. <coughs> it's a learning experience. I took that as a lesson, so now, I know, you know, like now I am already planning my outfits for my next Paris trip, which I don't even know when my next Paris trip is going to be. I actually have a folder with everything that I plan on wearing there and I've already tried them on and everything. Also, the other thing as well, it's just that it's been a couple of years, you know, we're in the middle of a panini, so I haven't been to Paris in, in a really long time, in a couple of years. So things were different. I kind of like forgot it was raining there all the time like that because the weather was so trash. It was miserable. It was just like raining back and forth. I was just so frustrated. It was like messing with my hair and my hair was already not looking good to begin with. That was the other thing as well. My hair color didn't necessarily go with a lot of the outfits that I was wearing. It, it just, it was a mess. There was like so many factors into play. Paris trip, was it a disaster? Yeah. But at the same time, like when I realized like I wasn't necessarily prepared and then also the traffic, I was complaining about the traffic. A lot of people was just like, well, you should have planned ahead. Like it's because you don't understand. Like I've been to Paris. I used to go to Paris like twice a year, like every year for fashion week. But it was never like this before. They had some things where they closed down the road because they're trying to have everybody take the metro now, sell the cars and everything like that. Traffic was bad before, but it was never on this level that it was at that time. Some of the woods were closed. And then, you know, on top of that, the rain, it was just miserable. And then when I saw that, I just decided, you know what? I am just going to chill. So that's all I did. I just chilled, I took it easy. I kind of missed a lot of my appointments. I wasn't upset about it. I was just like, you know what, whatever. If I miss this, I'm not going. I miss a couple of shows. I was just like, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna wake up at whatever time that I wanted to and just relax, you know. Again, like I said, my body was still healing. Well, I, can, I could travel, but I wasn't supposed to make a lot of effort um, like that, which is another reason why I took it easy because I couldn't necessarily, you know, do a lot of things. I wasn't supposed to carry heavy stuff. Because I remember being on the train, going to see my friends, you know, I'm asking everyone on the train to like, help me get my, my suitcase because my suitcase was so heavy. Usually, again, I'm super chilled when things don't work out. It is what it is. Happened is that I am clearing out my closet and I'm gonna have you guys help me out, pick out the pieces for me to sell. Going through the pieces that I sold in the past, I was very upset that I sold my Chanel Pearl Mules. I honestly cannot believe that I did that. The reason that I did that, I had the mules for two years and I could never find an outfit that worked with the mules. My style at the time was a little bit more cottage core, wearing all those dresses. It wasn't like cool and trendy like right now. So nothing that I wore went with this outfit. But of all the two years that I had the shoes, I think I've only wore them once just to take photos, not even out. So I did sell them 
and then again i did not anticipate for my style to change the way that it did because a lot have changed me making the decision to finally get the the breast reduction and honestly one of the biggest reasons which is probably a sad reason you know after my sister-in-law passed and then i just realized i did not want to spend just another day waiting around to what if i have a child what if i have this what if i had that it just re made me really speed up the process honestly it just made me make that decision way way fast a couple of weeks after the funeral i, I just booked my my time because i was supposed to be having it kind of like that's almost that same week but i was still having second thought about it you know i wasn't sure really just like put everything into place for me where i'm just like you know what life is short you do not know when you're gonna go i don't think i've spoken about it i i think it's i mentioned it briefly but most people don't know but yes my my sister-in-law who's my little niece abigail which you have seen on my vlog a lot when i was living in jersey she she passed away um, last last year around june it was a really really rough time and every day honestly it's still a rough time there's not a day that goes by that i don't think about her day i just keep asking god you know it's just like why it's just not fair it's, yeah it, 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 i don't want to talk about it because you know i'm gonna get emotional it's just like i'm gonna tell you like every night before i go to bed you know i think about her like every morning when i wake up in the day i think about her you know i think about my niece you know not having her mom in the morning to give her a kiss to give her a hug before bed you know to read to her all of that just like hurt me so deeply uh, that really affected me in a really really big way where i thought you know what you do not know when you're gonna go i'm just gonna do this because i was at the point where i just could not live with i just couldn't live in my body anymore being like that you know feeling like your body is betraying you you waking up in pain every day you know like when i tell you the back pain was crazy you know waking up in back pain you know i had scoliosis and carrying my body weight on one side of my body just feeling uncomfortable in my own skin for so long since i was 14 years old it was at that point where i just couldn't take it anymore and that really sped up the process for me a couple of weeks after that i was just like you know what life is too short i can't wait any longer you know at the what ifs it is time i'm just gonna do it now that's what happened that's really one of the thing that happened honestly sometimes it takes something very sad and tragic to happen for you to make a big life change back in april day i went to see the doctor to make a decision on you know when to do it and then even then i went may when my doctor was available i could have done it in april if i had made that decision because i just keep lala gagging you know keep waiting around and i just keep pushing it off pushing it off pushing it off pushing it off and then it just got to the point where you know it took my you know sister-in-law's passing to just realize that you know what i cannot wait not one more day and being so uncomfortable and un unhappy in my own body i decided i just called the doctor set up my appointment it did take a couple of weeks from the time of her passing to to the funeral like at least a good two weeks because you know her parents are like pastors you know they have a church like in harlem and everything so it was a it was a beautiful beautiful celebration beautiful celebration for her you know celebrating her life of course very sad remember my doctor was going on vacation so it was either i do it right before vacation or after vacation i thought you know what i am gonna do it the first week of my doctor coming back from vacation i think i might have been my doctor came back on vacation on thursday and then i had mine done on friday because so i'm like you know what let me give her a day to do a couple of more you know get back on vacation be well rested and everything just be so happy and then spend a day remembering because you know sometimes when you go on vacation you come back you don't remember your job well at least for me <laughs> it's like i completely forget my job i mean even spending one day once I clock out, I forget what I do. Well, not with this job. When I used to work um, in the office, and then on that Friday, I believe, I was the first one because I got to my doctor's house at like 7 o'clock in the morning to prep, and then I went in at 9 o'clock um, the, the table, and then I was done. I think at 1 p.m., I was, you know, back here in my house. I went in to have the surgery done. I honestly had no idea my quality of life was going to change like this and how my style was going to change like this as well because I never imagined in a million years that I would be able to wear like the stuff that I'm wearing now and that it would look good on me you know like that like before you know none of these things look good on me it just make me look so bad 
yeah it was just horrible like you know sometimes i go back and try on things that i used to try back in the day that just made me look horrible now trying them on they look so much better on again um i'm still surprised by how much my quality of life has changed and my style and everything like that like i said i did not expect it to be on this level like i i knew i was going to have my boobs removed and them being so tiny and so small but at the same time i never anticipated for things to look as good on me as they do now i was in complete shock like it's just sometimes like you just don't know what you're missing until you try something and i felt like that's exactly what it was for me with my breast reduction i was just like whoa i i just could not believe the results it was frustrating for the first couple of months because you know i still couldn't wear still couldn't wear clothes yet because i was still healing so i had to be in my bra my surgical bra like for three months i still wear my surgical bra to go to bed every night i am going to be wearing it honestly for might be forever or for a good two to three years you know unless you just come back before that which i hope he does because the earth is so ghetto like if you could come back already like i'm ready <laughs> to go home to heaven let's go already because it is just so ghetto down here now yeah, let's go ahead and help me clean out my closet before not want it to be dark out oh it's a mess in here but you know what you guys are gonna see the mess and it is what it is as you can see well you probably can't see but um based on the camera it may not come out that my closet is really big but my closet is massive even though i am going to have an ikea wardrobe made in this entire wall so that way um i even have more space to house all right so first thing first i think i have to clean over here first before i can even get through to this side and then we can talk about oh yeah plus i need to go get my ready with me to go to the event can you believe i am an outfit like this like this is so cute this is why i'm so excited and so happy that i can now wear things like this like guys like i literally want to cry i think this is the first time that i'm wearing something that is super cute i didn't know what to wear for valentine's day i think i'm going to make a cute little outfit with this for valentine's day i wish i had better boots though because these boots are so dirty i feel like this would go great with like a nice pair of brown boots or even some camel one i feel like the leather would just be so dressy and it would take it to the next level the suede one it's not horrible I just feel like a nice pair of leather boots would just be so cute even a pair of white boots would go really well so i am doing the flower ignore the mess in the background is because i need to film a video for you guys this is a lot of new stuff that i got i thought instead of doing a typical necklace why not do this choker i've really really been enjoying like fashion and putting out fits together oh shoot i gotta go um it's gonna take me 45 minutes to get down there it's already 17 12. we gotta go sorry guys i'm gonna take you along with me this is for the cider event oh shoot now my light decided to die this is not a good time, babes. And to um Thank you. 
again about New York City to be able to just be walking somewhere and find a place and just be like I'm just gonna go in and I need that wax so badly so I'm excited but this is my cider look all right guys this is after my wax I am headed home now because again I am <laughs> that boring girl now I'm like mm, I could go out to eat but then again I thought you know what I'm just not gonna have dinner um tonight I'm gonna go home trying to do a little bit of workout and if I crave something, I think what I'll do is, is make a smoothie because I have some frozen bananas. I could do that and I do need to go to Whole Foods. I wish I would have gotten, gotten the other way, but I'm honestly so much more happy that I have had the chance to get the wax done now because I don't have time to do it and I have another big party on Thursday. So happy I was able to do it. Let's cross. But I just feel so good. I just feel like my makeup is looking good. I am feeling good. So, so happy. Let's go home. It feels so good now to be able like the first couple of days of me getting a wax I'm always so scared to put my arms up because I'm so used to not being able to but oh it feels so good oh my goodness it's nothing like being able to put my arms up honestly but I do have some secrets to show you guys on how I got my under eye um, under eye under arms to to get so light they used to be so dark from like years of like bad shaving and also naturally um, those areas tend to be a little bit darker than the rest of my body and I've been working um, a bit to just be the same color as you can see this one is, uh, has gotten better even my knees also oops sorry even my knees also now I'm at a good place with them I, I think I'm super happy with what they look like compared to before before it used to be a stark contrast you know between my elbows and my knees and stuff but I will make a separate video on that showing you guys all the products that I've been using honestly for the underarms once you've done use it for like a month you see results within a week actually within a couple of days once you use it for a month you're good now I only use it like maybe once a month it stay that way it's gonna go back to being darker I'll be showing that soon I'm back home I got an order from the Frankie shop but before I do that actually I'm gonna eat I have some rice I'm just gonna fry two eggs yeah, honestly when I saw the set I don't even remember if I picked out this I think I sent my selection I have to go back and see if I picked this out because if I did I'm gonna be very happy with myself picking this out when I received the set I saw it I was like oh this is so cute I really really love the vintage print of the set and then when I put it on together I was just like oh my god this is just so cute and I'm just like finally I can wear cute stuff and the strap is too short so I'm gonna cut the strap because like I said it doesn't go in over my head this works so well again the strap fits me perfectly this is a small I would say the stuff one true to size don't be scared I feel like in the past like when you shop for certain shops from like Asian countries because they're like much smaller and much skinnier stuff used to run really really tiny but now everything runs normal which is pretty incredible because you don't have to order two sizes bigger before I used to order size medium or large but that was like 10 years ago it's been so long and I was so happy to to go to to the event because actually my cousin Maria told me about them when she came she's like have you ever heard of cider i'm like cider i'm just like what that's a store i had never heard of them before it was actually pretty cool and one of the girls that works for them was like how did you you know have you heard with cider i'm just like actually my cousin maria told me 
about you guys maria gets the credit and then it was just so funny when i got the email for this event i was just like absolutely i want to go and this was so cute from now on i just want every place i'm going to an event to, to send me an outfit well unless it's for like a perfume or something then in that case i'm on my own this was really cute i really really love my outfit tonight and then it went really really well with that bag for some reason the green at first i didn't think the green would go but the green and this like it just works so well look at this this was so stinking cute and then even the boots i thought the boots were dirty and stuff it didn't take anything away from the outfit this is probably one of my favorite looks ever i'm probably gonna go to like a beach vacation soon i cannot wait to wear the set how can i tell you i'm so so grateful so so grateful it only gets better from here <laughs> do not mind me do not mind me at all i'm not in my bag because i need to place an order because i'm going to a flower bomb event for victor for the new perfume the flower well it's the same perfume they have a new face they have emily wajasuski as the new face and i want a pink dress to wear but i couldn't find anything that was fun and flirty everything was just like too girly or like a gown and i'm just like can i just get something in between um, tonight i'm gonna see i think there's a magda Trump, but it's like almost thousand dollars i'm just like mm. Do I really want to spend a thousand dollars on a dress just to go to an event even though the dress is so pretty I'm gonna keep it you know I can wear it in the summertime day and again night. ignore the mess but I'm repeating this outfit because I am headed to a denim brands presentation and this is my look it's such a cute look right let's go fake on the FDR something that should take me like 15 minutes I'm um, showing 29 minutes but I gotta go to do a bow in my hair but i just couldn't get it together because i was running late i don't want to say as huge because because most of the time i am super on time well i'm, I'm on, technically on time so yeah i was just getting frustrated trying to put the bow on so i just aborted that mission i just ended up with the choker instead even though the bow would have been so cute with this outfit i feel like this was such a mess i'm out literally same outfit from last time some people said you know whenever you be wearing your outfit do something different well i guess the choker is something different right <laughs> but i don't believe in that i will be in an outfit the same way if i think it's cute enough if you don't like it that's on you like i don't even need a coat it must be the choker on my neck because whenever i have things on my neck it makes me really really warm <laughs> that did not sound good you know what i mean jelly bean but presentation was so good i loved everything i want everything from the collection good. so now i'm gonna go to Saks and see if i can find a pink dress for the party tomorrow i did order something to come tomorrow from revolve we will see and then i have to have an emergency nail appointment because my nail is just like so bad horrible hello guys i am back from the presentation presentation is really good i love presentation i know some people 
look down on presentations i like them they are less intense but you just go there you interact with the clothes it's actually quite warm outside i mean the kids are outside playing it's just been a really really nice winter i can't lie it was only cold for like a couple of days i've been blessed with a good winter even though i'm about to go right back outside my friend in boston was looking for this pair of pants from zara they were sold out everywhere so they only had them in new york at the store on 34th street so i went and grabbed them for her so i'm about to go to the post office and mail them for her Ooh, and then i went to zara I found something that I've been <coughs> looking for for the longest time, which was a pair of white pumps. I do have a pair of white pumps from Sarah Flint, but they are more like wedding, wedding-ish. I wanted a white pump that was cool that I can wear with denim. This shape and style is perfect for that. I love this kind of like skinny and shape heel. So it's not like a typical pumps. These are like fashion girl pumps. You know, there's a difference between fashion girl pumps versus like a regular pump. Then I've been on the market for like a gold belt. I have no idea yet when I'll be wearing it, but... And then I saw this one. I was just like, you know what? Let me just grab this. They didn't have a 75. The lowest it comes in, it's an 80. This blazer, it's really, really nice. It's like my favorite hourglass blazer. But underneath today, I wore... This is what I wanted. I wanted like a cute little top like this. I'm gonna put underneath blazers. I got this from the Cider event last night, which is pretty good because sometimes I just wanna wear denim and something like this, but you wanna wear something sexy, counteract the casualness of the denim. And I just feel like this kind of like lingerie top is just perfect for that. It's so cute, right? Yeah, I was looking for something like this. I wanted to get the Nancy Dojaka, but Nancy one's so tiny. I don't know like if my boobs gonna be out. I didn't order the Nancy Boussier. Even though I found it a really, really good price, I should have ordered it. it. Sold out, of course, because you know fashion girl are thirsty. When I tell you the fashion girl are thirsty, that's what I was saying with the guy. And I'm just like, why are fashion girls so thirsty? My god, they leave nothing. I'm waiting for a couple of packages to come here, but it's it's only noon. Like every time I wake up at five o'clock and then I ask myself, why don't you do this every day? It's literally the best thing ever. I've done so much. Usually it would already be like 3 p.m. But because I woke up so early, it's only 12. To get a package, I don't know from where. But let's open it together. I'm so glad I took this to go because i'm starving so this is a pistachio croissant and then this thing this looks so delicious mm. they had just like caviar on top of eggs so it's so good the only thing i came on here to tell you i just spent 70 dollars 74 dollars on eyeshadow palette and i'm like what is this world coming to for me to be buying an eyeshadow palette for 74 dollars let me eat because it's not pretty to eat me again i have so many errands to run today i gotta get my nails done because i cannot go to the party with my nails looking like this and even this morning i just felt so embarrassed i mean i didn't necessarily care like who gives an f but you know it's good to have your nails done this morning i was having my coffee when i got to the presentation and i'm just like ah my nails look so disgusting but i'm about to run some errands i want to wear these chelsea boots but they're just not giving me the look i need like a new pair of chelsea boots these they just don't go with this so i'm wearing my kit cardigan because this coat is a little bit on the lighter side so i need to like stay warm and then i've got this shop cider bow and my head followed a bit of like girliness because i couldn't wear it this morning i thought why not wear it this afternoon instead let's go guys i'm gonna take you guys along with me i can always count on sacks to come through i think this is the dress look at this this is just so stunning it's so different than anything else that i have second option she is the winner it's so funny i didn't even want this dress and then it turns out it's the one that looks the best on me so i'm guessing someone else will show up in the same dress so i'm just going to put gloves hey guys, i found the dress and then my friend Brittany wanted to go out to eat but not only i am not dressed but also i have my nail appointment at 7 30 p.m which is a little bit later that's because you know my you know, I'm asked, were they too long to reach out to my nail person? It's because one hat came off and then I didn't expect all the other ones to come up, but they did. So everything came off <laughs> right before the party. 
Oh, MG, like the things we do before a party, the stress <laughs> it causes us to get ready. That's that's what happened when you were last minute, not necessarily when you were last minute. Also, there has been a lot of factors that happened. One of them is not only my style switch. Also, so one thing that I also realized is that because in the past, every pretty much like 90% of my closet dresses were white. It left me from the option. And then now I'm at a point where I'm just like, I'm sick and tired of wearing white. Of course, yeah, I still love it. I'm still going to wear it but not as much as I used to. And now I'm at a cost where when I need to go out, I don't have any options really because everything is white, 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 white. I'm seeing the Andre Leon Talley thing right here, Christie's. I wanna watch a documentary, but it's just so sad, you know, everything that he's been through. But uh, my friend Brittany invited me for sushi, but it just collided with the time that I would be at my nail appointment, so I can't go sadly. And then now, all of a sudden, it just put the sushi in the back of my mind, and I've been wanting to have some sushi for the longest time now. My friend Robin, months ago over the summer, told me about this place, like Sugarfish, so. But now I'm seeing Manola Bakery. I wanna go in and get a piece of carrot cake. As I was saying before, because all my past dresses were white, so now I'm in a limbo every time I have to go out because I don't have that many options. I am getting rid of a lot of my white dresses. Now, I only have a small handful. Now I don't even want to buy anything white anymore. Except for pants, maybe. It is much later now. I haven't oops. I haven't spoken to you guys all day long because today a little bit mm, I don't want to say it, but um it's a much slower day. And the other thing, I just feel like my productivity is highly connected to me wearing makeup. For some reason, when I wear makeup, I am always doing things. It's just like it's automatic for me to just wanna like take photos, do this, do that. But when I'm not, my body thinks I'm like on vacation or it's like my off day. So it doesn't want to do anything, which is bad because especially like a day like today when I have an event much later. It's for a really big party. It's for Victor and Wolf. You guys know Victor and Wolf, the flower bomb perfume. One of the most famous perfumes ever. And on a day like today where I'm going to an event and I want to do my makeup a little bit later because I don't want to put my makeup on at like 8 o'clock in the morning. And then by the time it's like 9 o'clock, it's completely done and dusty. And I'm not one of those people who can just like, unless I really, really had something to do, then I would have done it. Like anything else going on today, of course, I would put makeup on and then I would probably would have to powder. But in my experience, like we powdering later or fixing my makeup later never ends up looking as good as when I do it. The first three to four hours, after I put makeup on, it's usually the best. I waited until like 6.30 to go on live and do my makeup with you guys. So I'm doing this pink look. This I got inspired from Andrea Ali's latest YouTube video. She did something for Valentine's Day. Of course, I had to recreate it. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, OMG. Let me take the light because it's so nice. Look at this dress. Look at this. And then she said how she ordered a size 2 at first, which I would have done also because I, I don't know. I feel sometimes the Neta Porte website is not that accurate because they show the models wearing a 2 based on the model size. And I'm just like, there's no way. Then again, we both have boobs. So that's probably what it is. So she said she ordered a size 2 and then she had to replace it with a size 4. And then it does have a support. I tried it at the store yesterday. You guys saw that. This is a dress uh, from Saks. This is that famous ALC dress. For this on Mariana Hewitt. Over the holidays, she wore this. This I had to pay full price for it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go on sale soon, but of those occasions where you need something, you kinda have to buy it full price. And I feel like the color, it looks more vibrant on the 
on the camera it's not as vibrant it's like a very soft pink it has a corset underneath like a waist trainer almost but the corset is the um, is the right terminology ladies and gents this is the dress and this party had me going around in circles trying to order dress i ordered something from revolve two days delivery shipping just for it to be delayed i think it's because god want me to wear this dress so bad honestly ordered this pink clutch it didn't come in time so for shoes originally i wanted to do my my winning caravilla snake wrap sandals because they're so stunning it would go really well but then again i saw on one of the website they style it with a white pump and then i'm just like oh that would be cool because that dress is like so cute and girly the white pump is really nice for bad my clutch didn't go oh, come because i wanted to do an all pink look didn't come so i'm just gonna do you know what bag now i wish i would have bought that ysl bag but they didn't have the one that i wanted in paris i wanted the patent leather but they didn't have the patent leather they have they only had the regular so i wasn't gonna do that Ooh, i have a bag idea i could probably do the dior the, the little clutch thing that i got i could do that as a clutch you know what that's a good idea remember i told you guys to buy that clutch from dior they still have it available so i'm gonna let you do it for you guys i've actually been wearing it on a couple of occasions now i've worn it out because you know what i can put my lipstick in here but this may be a good idea that's what i'm telling you guys like this is a clutch in one and i think this is the thing that i'm gonna do i won't be able to take you with me because i cannot carry the camera but this is the dress as you can see i went with the choker because again flower bomb perfume why not add the choker maybe a little bit much but the good thing is i can always take it off do the little dior clutch like i told you all right gotta go my uber's almost here but this is actually perfect oh i'm obsessed with this let's go